Hello friends, it's me Chenuvin Kodan. This is the second chapter in the Java FX 3D application development tutorial series. And in the last video, we have seen how to move a sphere, a 3D sphere in this Java FX 3D application. And in this video, the output will be same. I mean, we are going to achieve the same thing, but in a different way. So if you remember the Java FX 3d application development part one the previous chapter i have discussed how we can create the 3d effect by moving either the object or the camera in the previous video we have seen how to move the sphere in the in the 3d world to get this effect but in the same way we can keep the object as fixed and move our camera so it is more like we are keeping an object at a fixed place and we ourselves are moving around the object so if we move around the object we will get a 3d view of the object so in this video we will see how to move the camera instead of moving this object to get the 3d effect so for that we can use most of this code the change will be with the camera so here instead of moving this sphere we will have to move the camera so remember if we don't move the sphere the sphere will be at this position at zero 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 let's just see that one so i have removed this translate c property okay so let me just exit that one and run this program again so it is at zero 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 so what we are going to do is instead of moving the sphere we move the camera to that position and watch what's happening so i'm going to create one more folder here let that be <coughs> chapter two <coughs> and here i'm going to give another name so camera 3d or oh, just 3d camera everything so here instead of moving the sphere we have to move the camera so i am going to move the camera like this camera dot translate x property and translate y property so we have moved the camera to that position and definitely we have to move this code also for the set axis so we move the camera in the 3d world now and when we do that actually currently we are inside the object so remember this 50 is the center of the sphere at 0 0 0 so the sphere has radius in all directions so at current position it this camera is inside our 3d sphere so we can't see anything actually because we are inside the sphere now <clears throat> so we what we have to do is we have to set the translate set property and I am going to set that to minus 500. I am going to give some random value. Remember, it has to be more than 50 because within the 50 range, we are always in, say, the sphere. And if it is near 100, we just see the surface. Uh, so just keep it as minus 500. Or you can give a minus 1000 or any other value. It is up to you. So now what I am going to do is I need to set one more thing here. So if you look at the parameters of the perspective camera, there is an option called fixed eye at camera zero. So we have to do that. So what it will do is it will set your eye at zero, zero, zero of the coordinate system. So I'm going to give it as true. Now there is one more thing that I have to show you before that. Let us just run the program and see whether it is coming. And as you can see, we can't see anything that it is just the silver background color that is because we have inset the clipping planes so let's let me show you what is a clipping plane is suppose you have a camera at this point and you are looking at a world within this range so we need to see only the things that is happening this world let's say we op put an object qwe inside this 3d world i am i'm talking about the depth you have to uh i mean imagine this in the 3d world let the let this be a 3d world and here you have an object qwe and asd within this constraint suppose some other things are happening beyond this 
3 d world like uh, so let's say this is the depth of 1000 and this is the depth of zero so at the depth of 10,000 there is some other objects like this one so what we have to do is we don't want to consider this ten, uh, uh, this object that is beyond our requirement or beyond our interest we don't want to see this guy because we already said that we need to see only the things that is happening within this constraint this depth of zero and depth of thousand this is very important because uh, in case you have a large number of objects in your world it will take a lot of computation power to always keep them in the view so if you set a clipping plane like this in the 3d world then only the things that are happening within this defined depth will be shown to you so i hope you got the concept if something is happening beyond this this is the camera and we are interested in happening from here to here if something is happening in between that we don't get that also we see only things within this range i hope you got the point so this is also one of the basic fundamental concepts so i'm going to set the camera that set near clip so as i said before this is the closest point to the camera so i'm going to set the near clip as let's set that to one so if the, if, if an object is at depth zero relative to the camera that is important it is related to the camera then we don't see it we see from firm one the first one to thousand so i'm going to give thousand for set far clip so the far clip will be thousand so we are interested in things happening at a depth greater than one and less than ten thousand less than thousand if it is like thousand and one we don't display that in the screen and uh, i made a mistake here i'm sorry for that currently i have set the translate x property to width by two but if you look at this one by default the object will be at zero 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 so what we are currently doing is the object is at this point and we are moving the camera up to the center of the screen that is not required since we are not at all touching the sphere it is at zero 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 only so we have to set the camera at x is equal to zero y is equal to zero then in the set axis i am moving backwards because zero 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 is inside the sphere so let me just run the program now and as you can see now we have implemented the 3d world by using the camera movement so currently when i am pressing on the w i'm going closer with the camera the object is not coming to me i am the camera is going towards the object so that is the another concept main concept in java fx 3d so in the last video we have seen how to move an object in this video we have seen how to move the camera so that's the end of this video in the next video we'll see something more interesting about java fx 3d so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more